Hello, I'm Lelda Smits for the Finance News Network and joining me from Antares Elite Opportunities Fund is Portfolio Manager Nick Pashas. Nick, welcome back to FNN. Thank you. Great to be here. The fund adopts a contrarian approach to investing. Could you give us an example of an out of favour stock that has turned around? Sure. Qantas is one that we've had in the portfolio for a couple of years. We identified a number of themes that we were attracted to, and that is a change in the industry structure. So we saw that Virgin was behaving itself more on the domestic side of the business. Um, we also identified the cost out story, which the company articulated. Um, as well as a discount to our valuation. What we didn't see was the fall in the oil price, which has also helped the stock, and that's why the stock's tripled off its lows. Right now, we still think that there's more upside in Qantas. We think that the cost out story and the multiple re-rating is what will drive it higher from here. So we still own it, um, and we're happy to, to own it. Okay, and Nick, since we last spoke, interest rates have fallen to record lows. How has this impacted your stock selection and strategy? Yeah, even though the short end of the curve, the cash rate has fallen to historical lows. The long end of the curve, the 10 year bond is actually up well above its lows. It actually bottomed in about April at about 2.3, 2.4%. It's currently around 3%. So long term interest rates are already rising and we're positioned for that. We don't own any um, REITs in the fund. We don't own any infrastructure stocks. We don't own any utility stocks. These stocks will be adversely impacted by a rise in long-term interest rates. And that's really what's played out over the last few weeks. And we anticipate more of that to come. Higher oil prices have recently given the energy sector a boost. What's your exposure to energy? Yeah, one of the energy stocks that we've liked for a very, very long time, we're talking probably about a decade now we've owned this stock, and that is All Search. And we continue to own that in the fund. We still think that there's more growth to come out of the PNG assets. The one that we've put in the portfolio over the last 12 to 18 months is Santos. Santos is a higher risk play. They're developing some big projects in Queensland that are about to come on at the end of this year. And we anticipate that they will deliver the cash flows that the market's been expecting. So we're, we're eagerly anticipating that development. On the other hand, banking stocks have recently fallen off their highs. What adjustments has the fund made? Yeah, they have. They've fallen a long way. The one that we've been buying is Westpac. So Westpac have announced um, um, a capital raising um, and that has led to weakness in the share price and we're using that weakness to build a position. We're still underweight but our underweight is now very modest compared to owning zero Westpac probably about five months ago. Now Nick, one of the fund's biggest positions is BHP Billiton. What's your view on its spin-off South32 and are you still holding on to your allocation? Yeah, we are. We're still holding on to our South 32. We've met the company last week um, and we are cautious, but we think that there is value starting to emerge. So the stock is just around the, just above the $2 level. We get a valuation in the mid $2 range, but we think there's a few risks around South Africa and also Brazil that we need to understand. And that was part of the visit. Um, so we're, we're sharpening our pencil on that one and waiting for an opportunity. Finally, Nick, could you name a stock which is looking attractive to you and explain why? I'd have to point to Crown. Crown is one that we've added to um, over the last few months as the share price has fallen. It's a company that we're attracted to because of its defensive earnings. They operate casinos in Australia, which uh, we think are doing well. What's not doing so well is their assets in Asia, namely Macau, where the anti-corruption um, bought upon by the Chinese government, as well as some anti smoking um, bans have caused the revenue there to fall, but we think that that is now in the price and, and it's more looking backward rather than looking forward. So it's one that we've beaten adding to. Nick Pashas, thank you for the update from Antares Elite Opportunities Fund. Thanks for the opportunity.